Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick follow-up movie. It's been about uh, four weeks since I uh, got my system uh, set up outside and I uh, got everything built, but uh, uh, because of the inclement weather, we've had to move everything inside. And right now I've just got, uh, as you can see from this disconnect that's going, permeating my wall, my landlord's going to kill me. I've got a uh, temporary panel installed outside on my, on my balcony, um, but it's not doing shit. It's collecting like 50 amp hours a day or something like that. But I wanted to just follow up on two quick things, um, making a little bit of progress here and there. I wanted to give, uh, see if I can get the light balance right, I wanted to give LEDWholesalers.com a big shout out for uh, RMAing a device that uh, was my load, it's this 50 watt LED ballast. Um, so I can get the focus to happen right properly there. They didn't have to do that um, because I had had it for many months, but uh, that's all I'll say. A big shout out to them. And I wanted to, uh, and I'll turn that on here. Let's see here, you can see it's the blinding light of God. Let's see here. Give that a second to fire up. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to do um, is talk about uh, this device, the Interstate Bonding System, which is a. Uh, Give me a second now, the auto transfer switch will kick on. You'll see how bright this thing is. But uh, as you can see from the diagram, well, maybe you can't. Thank you, Nikon. Um, oh, holy shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, that is, I now understand everything. Very, very bright. Uh, let me turn that off. But, um, uh, yeah, this guy is a outdoor bonding system that is essentially a um, sane alternative to what I was using for terminating my DC um, buses, which was this grounding bus from inside of a uh, load bar, or a load center. Focus is just not working today. But, uh, as you can see, once we have it installed, just don't have the right cover for this right now. Really move this out of the way. It's essentially just a six port uh, bus bar, and the ratings on it, I mean, it's rated for, uh, comes with a, comes with a lid, and you're supposed to cover it, but I'm using it inside this, uh, this weatherproof enclosure for now, weatherproof junction box, but uh, we're not going to be able to read any of this text. But basically, the ratings are number six and number, number two AWG grounding electrode conduit conductor. From service equipment, so basically it's for it's for standardizing your grounding bar. It's got one large, one large bus in the center, which is meant for a larger gauge wire. So if you had like a you know outdoor antenna, um, wireless device, you know pole mounted um, devices, various things outside, um, satellite dish, um, you know outdoor HVAC equipment, this would be a good way to share common ground. Um, it's supposed to be covered. And you know you're supposed to have weatherproof, but it's a perfect application for this. It doesn't have any uh, amperage um, ratings on it or anything like that. But for what we're doing in this enclosure, perfectly good, cheap solution. Anyway, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Um, I'll let you know as soon as the summer gets here and we get this bad boy mounted on a roof. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.